It was a show of force that's rarely been seen since the days of the standoff between building unions and the Howard government. The streets of Melbourne's CBD were shut down this morning when a thousand protesting building workers clashed with riot police. No one was injured and police are reviewing video of the protest before deciding whether they'll lay charges. Lisa Maximovic reports. Extraordinary scenes in downtown Melbourne. As commuters made their way to work, Lonsdale Street erupted as police and protesters went head to head. The police arrived at Groken's request. It wanted help escorting 100 workers onto the construction site. CFMEU members were having none of it. Several were doused with capsicum spray during the scuffle. We don't condone violence at all and this, this, this rally this morning was discipline and when a horse is coming at you, you put your hands out to defend yourself. Police were outnumbered and forced to retreat. I haven't reviewed all of the footage, but at this stage we're comfortable that they uh, behaved reasonably appropriately. But as I said, if they have punched horses, um, then that's not appropriate. About an hour after the confrontation, the group dispersed, more interested in getting a morning coffee. We're going back to work! Soon the street was cleared and just a few dozen protesters remained. There are two very different sides to what's going on here. The CFMEU says it's an issue of worksite safety and intimidation of union members. But Grocon says that's a smokescreen. EBA negotiations were settled two months ago and Daniel Grollo says he doesn't know what they're protesting about. We have an EBA. We've put an EBA together with our employees that has employment terms for our employees at the highest levels in the industry, with the safest conditions in the industry. Part of that agreement was to have ongoing discussions about union apparel, about flying flags on union sites, about having safety sh and shop stewards represented and picked by the rank and file. The city wasn't the only trouble spot. A hearing at the Victorian Supreme Court was told that at this Footscray site, a man was deliberately hit by a car being driven by the union's Victorian Assistant Secretary, John Setka. Grocon says a project manager was the target. He wasn't injured. John Setka is among six union members banned from Grocon sites under court orders. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News, Melbourne.